Hello guys and welcome back to yet another explosive episode on chemistry. Okay, so today we are going to round up uh, alkanes. Okay, so I'm going to see the uses of alkanes. For those of you that think maybe this part of the discussion is not necessary or it's not even important, you don't even need it. Okay, let us go to the OTD Schools Jam app. Okay, and see a question from the app. This is a 2010 question, uh, number 47. It says... Uh, one of the major, 2010 number 47, say one of the major uses of alkanes is A, as domestic fuels and industrial fuels, B, in the hydrogenation of oils, C, in the, in the textile industries, D, in the production of plastics. Okay, so questions from uses of alkanes come out. The reason why we're doing this is because we do not want to leave any stone unturned. There are other questions which we are going to look at at the end of the class, not before, because I want you to learn and then be able to answer questions. Okay, there's no need going to attempt a question when you have not learned anything. All right, so please follow us, follow us through, download the Ultimate School Jam app because. This tutorial itself is sponsored by the O3 School Jump app. It has all you need to succeed in your exam. If you want to succeed and not succeed, jump to Play Store immediately and download that app on your phone and start practicing. It has all the past questions you could ever ask for, so you don't need to go and buy a past question outside. It has a question self feature where you can solve a question according to topic. So after reading, you can what a self question on that topic, and the question can come out for you to answer to build your confidence. Then what is more? We have the UTME mock challenge. It's a challenge that will conduct for all the students that are writing jam for this year. Okay, you compete with your mates, you win prizes, you see your result release every Saturday. It builds your confidence because you see your progress. So please, the app is not for play. There are so many thousands of testimonies from the app. Go to our, our channel, search for OTD School Jam App Testimonies and see the testimony. See the way the app has helped students over the years. So please, do not sleep on it. Go to Play Store and download it now and activate for a little fee. Okay, let us go to uses of Arcane. This class promises to be short, not to be too long. And will be done in no time. The uses of Arcane. Uses of alkanes okay and of course alkane is the major component or is the principal component or it is the uh what do you call it the chief component methane methane but one methane is the is the principal component is the chief component is the uh, most basic component when it comes to what natural gas okay among the component of natural gas methane okay is a major component more, more than 70 percent okay of natural gas is what is methane so uh, methane is what is an arcane so methane is a component of what of natural gas although natural gas has other components okay there's one we call natural gas liquid natural gas liquids Okay, the one we call NGLS. Okay, then of course we also have this uh, natural gas liquid is an hydrocarbon gas liquid and hydrocarbon gas liquid. We also have some other non non hydrocarbon gases like carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide and water vapor. Okay, these are other what components of what of natural gas. Okay, but the chief component is methane. <laughs> Okay, so methane is the what is the principal component of what of natural gas, and because these alkanes, okay, like for example, this methane, okay, can what undergo combustion to release a lot of heat, they are used as what as fuels, both industrially and domestically. Okay, so please take note of that. So we say that methane is the principal component. As we saw from the past question, right now, the answer to that question will be methane. So when we are attempting the question, we will not will stay long on that. Please do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video. You don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, whenever we release a new episode, you will be the first to know. Okay, and then you can join us and learn. What's more is that please keep sharing this video so that your friends and loved ones can just be you know what I made their pass. So please keep sharing the videos. But right now, so we say that methane is the principal component of of natural what. Of natural gas okay and because what it can undergo combustion to release a lot of heat they are used as what they are arcanes are uh, what used used as fears okay they are used as what as fears please take note of that they are used as fears okay so another very very important use of what of arcanes is that the high arcanes number two the high 
our kings. Okay, if you follow, follow the awesome when we talk about what the characteristics of all of our kings, the characteristics of our kings or the properties, we say that was that the first four our kings are gases, methane, ethane, propane, butane. They are what they are gases. We say that what that the next uh, 13 that is from C5 from carbon from five carbon atom to C17 to the 17th what carbon atom we say that what they are volatile liquids. Okay, what we say from C18 upwards. Okay, these high alkanes. What do you say they are? We say they are what low melting solids. Low melting what solids. All right. So because of this, they are used what in the production of what of candles. These high alkanes they are used. They are very useful in the manufacture of what of candles. That's why whenever you light your candle, you say that way to burn it one slowly. So they are what low melting solids. Okay, it's also what an alkane. All right. So high alkanes. Okay, are used or are important. Are used in the manufacture of candles okay for domestic use or for any use that you may want to think of all right so that is another important use of what of alkenes pull that at the back of your mind also tetrachlorometrin tetrachloromethane the one we call tetrachloride we saw the reaction of methane ch4 okay with what chlorine molecule in the presence of what diffused light Okay, diffuse light and the final product was what CH. Okay, the final product that was what CCl4 plus what HCl. Okay, we saw that reaction in the last class. Okay, where well, we saw the first product monochloromethane up to the second product dichloromethane plus HCl. Then the third one was what uh, trichloromethane, or what we call chloroform plus HCl. And the last product was what tetrachloride, okay, or tetrachloromethane plus what plus HCl. All right, so this tetrachloromethane that is produced from what from this arcane methane, all right, we say it is very important in the what in the both in the laboratory, laboratory, and even industrially, okay. As what as solvents, so this as what as solvents, okay, for iodine, for iodine, solvent for iodine, even for sulfur, as as also it's also very useful as solvent for what for alkenes, alkenes during ozonolysis, ozonolysis, okay, so we'll get to what uh. Um, Akins, okay, Akins, Akins. When we come to what Akins, I'm going to talk about what ozonolysis. Sorry, this ozono, ozonolysis, okay, ozonolysis. Okay, so now take note of that. We say that what that the uh, tetrachloromethane is used or is very important in the laboratory and industrially as solvent for what for iodine, for sulfur, for Akins during what ozonolysis, okay, ozonolysis rather. So now let us just put that down. Let's just put that down. So that will be the third use. Number three, we say that what tetrachloromethane, okay, is used as what a solvent for iodine and iodine sulfur, sulfur, iodine sulfur and alkenes. During what? Okay, I didn't answer for as well as alkenes because as well as alkenes during ozonolysis. Okay, so please take note of that. So I think what TD was uses of what of alkenes. Okay, maintain its principal component of natural gas that used as fuels. High alkenes are used in the manufacture of candles. Then three, we say tetrachloromethane is what useful as what a solvent for iodine. Okay, and also say that what uh, useful for what for solvent as for sulfur as well as what alkenes during what ozonolysis. Okay, they also have another one, another product from that reaction between methane and chlorine molecule in the presence of the first light. That we call what trichloromethane. Trichloro chloromethane. Okay, this one we call it what chloroform. Chloroform, that is what CHCl3. Okay, we saw that reaction. Okay, so this is the third, the third, the third step of the reaction to produce what chloroform. All right. Now this chloroform is what use is what important in the surgical field. Okay, it's important in the surgical field. Is important 
in the surgical field. Surgical field as an anesthetic. Anesthetic. Okay, so it's used as well as an anesthesia, okay, during what surgery. So it is very, very, very important. It finds what useful application. So you may never see this question from anywhere. Trichloromethane, chloroform is used in is used in the surgical field as an anesthetic. It's used in the just surgical field as an anesthetic. Okay, then we also have one called liquefied petroleum gas. Liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, is used in domestic cooking. Liquefied, liquefied petroleum gas. The one called LPG, okay, is used domestically, domestically for what? For cooking. So that, that gas that you use in the house, okay, is what made up of what of LPG, okay, liquefied petroleum gas, which is what used for what for cooking in what in the home, all right. That's why you are seeing that what it says it's useful what, uh, it's used domestically for what for cooking. Then of course we also have, uh, naphthalenes and cycloalkanes. Naphthalenes and cycloalkanes are used also as what as fuels, okay. Naphthalenes. So that was say naphthalenes, naphthalenes. Okay, and what cycloalkanes? We say that what they also what used as what as fears. They are used as what as fears. Okay, so these are the uses of what of alkanes. Some of the uses that I can what get my my head around. Okay, maintain the principal component of natural gas, and because the what they undergo combustion, alright, they release a lot of heat. They are used as fears. Then of course we say high alkanes are used in the manufacture of candles. Then we'll say tetrachloromethane is used as solvent for iodine, for sulfur, as well as alkenes during what? Ozonolysis. Then we'll say number four, trichloromethane, what we call chloroform, say it's important or useful in the surgical field or it's used in the surgical field as an anesthetic. Then we'll say liquefied petroleum gas, the LPG that we know, that gas that are used in cooking your eba, your beans and yam, your beans and dodo. Okay, those ones is used in what domestically for what? For cooking, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. Then lastly, we say both naphthalenes and what and cycloalkanes. Okay, they are what's useful as what as fears. These are used of what of alkanes. So let us do a round trip around what alkanes. Let us do it before before we take our questions from the app from the old school jump app. Let's do a round trip. Let us summarize the alkanes. Remember, we say that alkanes they are what they are saturated hydrocarbons. That is, they are what they are full. They are saturated with what with hydrogen atoms. So we say that alkanes, alkanes. Okay, they are what one. We say they are saturated hydrocarbons. Okay, that is one. Then what is more? We say the shape. We say that what that they are what that tetrahedral in shape. Okay, we say that what they are characterized, characterized, characterized by what carbon to carbon single bond. Abi, so I can't have what single what bond, carbon to carbon single bond. What do we say that bond angle is again? We say number four that their bond angle, bond angle is what 109.5 degree or 109 degree 28 what seconds. Okay, what's more? We say that what they are what favor by what substitution, what they undergo substitution reaction. All right, so what's more is there about what the alkanes? We say what well, alkanes can be what they can be straight chain hydrocarbons, they can be straight chain. Okay, in that case, we call them a normal compound. We say they can be what cyclic, all right, or they can be branch chain rather can be branch chain. In that case, we call them iso compound. Then they can be what cyclic in that case, like cycloalkanes that we see. In that case, we say that what well, they are new compounds. Okay, there are so many other things maybe that I'm, I'm missing right now, but please go back to the first episode where we'll talk about the alkanes. But we we'll say that the general formula for the alkanes is what CNH2N plus two, all right? So please put this at the back of your head and never forget. Now let us jump to the application and answer the questions from the app and then we'll be done. Uh, this is a 2000, 
10 question number 47, the one we were, we were checking before, they say, one of the major uses of Arkins is, of course, you see that the clear answer is option A there, as domestic and industrial fears, okay? As domestic and industrial fears. So one, that is one of the major uses of, of Arkins. Then number, you say 2009 question number 47. It is also being displayed on your screen right now. 2009 number 47, it says, which of the following hydrocarbons is mainly used as fuels? Mainly used as fuels: A. Methylene, B. Ethylene, C. Methane, and D. Ethane. Okay, our correct answer that would be what methane. All right, we say that methane is the principal component, is the major component, is the cheap component, the organic matter, matter of them all component of what of natural gas. Okay, and because they combust, okay, they undergo combustion to release a lot of heat, they are used as fuel. So we say which of the following carbon is mainly used as fuel? The correct answer that would be what will be methane. Let us see 2023, number 30. Okay, they say again, which of the following is a primary constituent of natural gas? Okay, 2023, another year. Which of the following is a primary constituent of natural gas? Okay, the answer is what is methane, as you can see from option A there. All right, okay, this is another year. Okay, repeating the same question. Okay, they say the principal constituent of natural gas is what? A, they say methane, B, ethane, C, propane, D, butane. Correct answer there will also be, uh, be methane. All right, so please, if you can go through your past question in this app, all right, there's no way not to set question from. That's why I encourage you to what? Uh, to learn first before you answer question. If you learn, okay, answering question will be the easiest thing for you. All right, so please do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to download the O3 School Jam app today and start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T, the commander of this great army. Dear soldier, I will see you in the next episode where we'll start talking about the Alkins. Thank you for watching.